hot tamale in a bottle, boom. <laughs> Gentlemen, what's happening? My name is Nate. Welcome to Paragon Fragrances. So today we have Spice Bomb Infrared by Victor and Ralph. This one is a spicy, cinnamon, fruity based fragrance. Spice Bomb Infrared is considered a spicy, ambery fragrance and it was released back in 2021. This one has some notes of fruity notes, pink pepper, some saffron, cinnamon, tobacco, benzoin, and there's some like spicy chilies in here or peppers in here, which is just fabulous. It's like a hot tamale. So this one is like if you had those little candies that are little hot tamales, it's that in a bottle. Give you guys a test spray here and pull the pin, which is always cool. It's that classic atomizer um, that Spice Bomb has. It's very good, very good. Oh, it's so good, man. Reminds me of the winter time. Oh, it's great. Winter time is the best for this thing. It's it's really good. Fall time is coming around right around the corner and I'm excited to wear it. Tobacco actually comes through a lot, so it's very masculine scent. It's not a super sweet over the top scent, but you're definitely gonna pick up those fruity nuances. In the opening, it's very fruity and it, you get that pink pepper up top. The benzoin really comes through. It projects a lot in that first opening, two to three hours, and then it settles into this tobacco, benzoin, just sexy spice bomb DNA. It's fabulous the way it performs in the winter time. Walk outside in the cool air with this on, you just smell so good. This one could actually pull you a lot of compliments. Wear this with some confidence and you'll be well off. As I was touching about the longevity, the longevity is pretty good. It's in that eight, maybe seven to 10 hours in that if you spray on your clothes like I do, I get in that 10 hour range with it. So, um, and I know people had some performance issues with this, so um, it's not for everybody. If you don't like spicy fragrances, this might be something to stay away from. If you're in the market for a spicier cologne and you're looking at the spice bomb DNA and you really want to get into it, and you're kind of swayed away from the extreme because it gets overused a lot of the time, Infrared might be your next great option. I think this one is very well versed, it's unique, it's sophisticated, and it doesn't smell like too many fragrances on the market right now, which is fabulous. The sillage is great in the first two to three hours, and then it becomes a kind of personal bubble area scent. You're definitely gonna put off great smelling vibes, and you're gonna get great compliments if people are in that you know, arm's distance from you. People are gonna notice you with this one. It's it's not one that is like Lana Weed alone where it's just in that personal space bubble. But great pickup here if you guys are interested in this one. There's a link down in the description and it will have everything you need to know about this scent. There's also Fragrantica. I put it up on the screen here. The website is called Fragrantica.com and you can look up any cologne that you would like and you can look about all the notes, reviews at the bottom so you can scroll down and see all the reviews and stuff. It's a great website if you really are into fragrances and you wanna learn more about them. I'm into the fragrance you know, world so I this is what I love to do. So. Um, this guy says red, sweet, spicy, very flirtatious fragrance, and I would, I'd have to agree with this guy. That's a great outlet for you, but if you guys are interested in Spice Bomb Infrared, it's a great scent, great pickup. I think a lot of the Sephoras have this one, so if you wanted to try this one out, go to Sephora and spray it on your wrist. The fall time is coming around right around the corner, and I'm excited to wear it. But if you guys like fragrance-related content, I do fragrance reviews Monday and Friday. If that interests you at all, make sure you hit the subscribe button and we'll see you next time, guys.